What's going on guys? It's your boy Avionics back with another action figure review video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few videos throughout the month. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra's Dr. Mindbender action figure made by Hasbro. So this recently uh, just um, shipped out to everyone who pre-ordered earlier this year. He was a Comic-Con um, release um, of this year, so everyone pretty much has Dr. Mind, they're Dr. Mindbenders now. So let's take a look at the box. So here's the, this is how the packaging looks like. It's the box and then it has a sleeve. So on the front here we have the sleeve and it says your warning choking hazard for ages four and above. We have a nice awesome looking graphic image of Dr. Mindbender. Then we have the G.I. Joe classified series Dr. Mindbender Hasbro logo. This is number 43 in the line. We have a uh, like an embossed Cobra logo there. Here is what the side of the box looks like. And then it has the um, those encrypted emblems that you can look up at the Hasbro website to uh, decode what those mean. Here is the other side real quick. And then the bottom with the barcode. So you're not going to be able to find, I, I don't believe you're going to be able to find him in stores. This is online exclusive only through Hasbro. And then here is the full graphic image of that Dr. Mindbender on the front with the cutout from the diagonal sleeve. And it's got some pretty cool shots of everything going, going around. We have Mindbender over here and then some graphic images of him in the ocean. Some cool images of him in his laboratory with those capsules of, he looks like he's got some skeletons in there. And then it looks like they're in Egypt with uh, like the mummy and Destros are over there. Him, Destro and Baroness. All right, so let's go ahead and take the outer sleeve out and take a closer look at this inside box. All right, so we have this outer sleeve removed and the front of the packaging, we have what looks like to be a, the Cobra logo, but um, in the shape of a chromosome because Dr. Mindbender is a science, uh, crazy scientist, crazy mad scientist. And I love the look of the purple like crate, supply crate look. Uh, on the side again, um, more of the emblems, number 43. So the full graphic image with no cut, it's just like the full continuous image. And then, so it looks like it opens up like a book or a double cover book. Ah, okay. So that's how the outer, the outer cover opens up. Take a close look at him and his like, he's like in his own laboratory, like he created himself in this capsule. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at this side. We have M-A-R-S, Mars Industries. So we have some of the accessories in here. We're gonna take a closer look at all this. And then right there, some more, some more close, close up shots of how everything is embedded in the packaging. That's pretty cool. This is uh, one figure that was highly anticipated in, uh, within this last year. All right, so let's go ahead and get the figure and all these accessories out. All right, so we have Dr. Mindbender and all of his accessories all out of the packaging. So as always, let's take a close look at all the accessories first. So this is a, this Dr. Mindbender is an, ex an exclusive and to um, a deluxe figure from Hasbro Pulse themselves. So with a price tag of $42, you are getting a lot of accessories for your money. The first accessory we are looking at is his pistol. And this is just a regular hand pistol that's all painted all black and it does have a porthole here to add some blast effects. If you have any, like um, from the Valiverse uh, Action Force line or maybe if you have the three pack Cobra Vipers, it does come with uh, one of the uh, single shot gun effects that you can plug into that. So that is how that looks. And this actually will fit in the holster on the side of his right leg. And then this next gun, it's more like a, um, well, it's, uh, it's a weird gun. I don't, I'm not sure what, what kind of gun it is, but it, it does have like a little capsule on the top that's painted silver. So maybe like it's like a poison gun or something, but this is how it looks and how it's sculpted. So there's that, 
And then moving on to one of the bigger guns, we have this, looks like a uh, some kind of ray blaster. Painted all black uh, in the back half where the grip, the trigger, and the stock is. And, uh, oh, actually, no, this looks like you can plug the hose into that. So it's not a stock. It kind of looks like a stock. But, um, yes, you can plug this into the hose that it comes with. Let's see here. All right, yeah, so it does plug in there. And then the front half is painted metallic silver. So it looks like a, like a kind of like a blaster, some kind of ray blaster. Some kind of weird scientific gun that he created himself. And then um, he does have the other weapon, which looks like it would totally get fitted with this hose. It looks like it would spray like some kind of poison. Not sure what these, these, if these have any names, but yeah, they are scientific looking guns, that's for sure. For someone as crazy as Dr. Mindbender. Once again, more portholes for fire effects. So check out the sculpt of this. And did this have a uh, porthole? Yeah, so this one has a porthole too. And then the small one with the capsule, it does not because it's just like a small little nozzle or barrel. So you can plug the hose in both of the larger of the weapon. This, and then it would plug the hose into whatever this canister is that he's got. And it actually has um, two, two pegs that you can peg the, the hose into. Let's see if I can get it to focus properly. So that's the sculpt of that. So it could either plug in from the side, like so. And I'm assuming this is the bottom and this is the top, or it can plug into the top like that. And then I'm not sure where this actually would, it'd be nice if this actually like poured it into him somehow or pegged into him somehow but um looking at the figure there's nowhere for for us to port it into but we're going to take a closer look at the figure here in a little bit so we'll keep that in mind and then moving over to his left we have the skull now this skull it's about the same size as um a, another any other classified figure but there is no hole in the bottom or socket to be able to to like peg it into another figure which would be actually kind of cool but um, this is painted like bone and it's wrapped in bandages in a gray bandage. And then the top half actually has like, it actually removes, detaches, so you can plug the brain into there. And then it's got like a, like a, a cut open area so you can actually see the skull. So speaking of skull, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I'm sorry, not the skull, the brain. Okay, so this is the brain that we're dealing with here. And painted and got a little bit of black wash, so it's pink with a little bit of black. And then here is the uh, the peg that you would plug it into inside the skull or even in those scientific capsules, science capsules. So put the brain in here. Hmm, where's the medulla oblong got on this thing to let me know which one, which side faces forward? There is no medulla oblongata. Except for all of this medulla oblongata. <laughs> all right. So we'll just do it like that. There we go. I think, I think that's how we got it. There we go. So there's a closer look at the skull with the brain inside. We'll go ahead and put that aside. Now the brain, the skull won't be able to fit in the capsules, but the, uh, or the jar. But um, you have a small one with a red detachable cover and it's transparent red and then the base there's the base and it actually has four holes I don't know if you can see it it's got oh it's got four holes on the sides to be able to plug into the uh these it came with four of these tiny tiny little I don't know what you call it but um they plug in like that. So it's got four of those. So good luck trying not to lose those. So let's go ahead and plug all these four, maybe, um, I don't know, vials? Vials of whatever that Dr. Mindbender is gonna put in these. Whoa, see? 
And then we can plug the brain into it up top here, into the peg hole. There you go, like so. Oh, come on, there you go. It's kind of hard to peg it in there. Okay, there you go. And then put the cover on top and voila, brain in a jar. And then let's take a look at the, uh, the larger medical um, jar or capsule. Same thing, but it doesn't have the port the portholes for those four vials on the side. But um, it's it's gray, like a dark gray. It's not really a silver. And then it does have a porthole here for. I mean, you could put the brain in, but I'm pretty sure it's this is made for this this hand or this forearm and hand, which is pretty cool looking, like he's uh, Frankensteining something up. So it's a it's a gray body part, limb, hand, and arm with, with some wire sticking out. And so the white peg would just go into here. So these are some good props to have in his laboratory if you have some kind of diorama um, of a lab or whatever. So I might set something up for him, post them up in his little office. So there's that. Okay, now let's take a closer look at Mindbender himself. All right, so starting with the head, this is how the head sculpt looks like. He's all bald, and he has br dark brown pointy eyebrows, dark brown handlebar mustache, and he's got a, a monocle in his right eye, which looks really cool. And it's actually clear plastic. It's not painted or anything. It's a great look at the face, and then going down. So one thing that y'all notice is his soft goods cape, sleeveless cape. So you can remove this. This is removable. So let's go ahead and remove it. But for the most part, it has that leathery look to it. And then the collar part is more of a, so the inside, so there's the collar popped up. But if you fold it over, it's just like a regular sheen of the fabric. So let's go ahead and remove that so we can take a closer look at Dr. Mindbender's figure and body. All right, so a friend of mine had pointed out that he noticed on his figure that it looks like, I'm not sure if this is paint rub off from his silver straps on the tops of his shoulders and that a lot of people have this issue with their figure. And yes, mine does too. So that's some kind of defect going on. You see that right there on the shoulder? So I don't know if it's paint rub off or, or what, if it's the same exact precise pattern on every figure, but that's uh, that's an immediate, immediate discrepancy that we're seeing on this Dr. Mindbender figure. So he is a shirtless action figure, but he does have these like metallic suspenders that go from the back of his belt all the way going up and across and then to his front. Um, and then he's <laughs> he's got this silver buckle and the silver groin plate, which looks Kind of funny, you know, kind of like a thong or whatever, but it is what it is. And then going down, uh, take a closer look at his arms. He does have a purple uh, purple bands on both arms. And then he's got his forearm armor or bracers, purple on the inside, painted studs and uh, rings around. And then the design and sculpt of the outside part of the armor. Pretty cool looking. He's got black hands or black gloves. Hands in black gloves. He does not come with any extra hands, but both hands. Let's see, we got a right hand is a trigger finger hand, and and then the left one is a, another trigger finger hand. And then going down his body, uh, the belt and the suspenders is attached to the holster, which also wraps around his leg. And then he's got all purple pants, and then taking a closer look at that groin plate, it does have some like segments with studs around it. And then I love that they incorporated some actual buckle paint applications here to give it more detail, you know, cause usually they would just paint it all, it's all just black. Going down, he's got his uh, knee pad, or not knee pad, but these are his boots. So he's got knee high boots with like a knee guard here. And um, so they did paint the buckle on the top of the of the boot as you can see here it'd be nice if they added a little bit more silver like right around here going all the way around to give it a little bit more 
to actually match with it and everything but yeah pretty much uh, nothing much more on the back he does have a peg hole um, a porthole but it's the regular three millimeter but so it's it's not for his little canister here so um it'd be cool if uh he actually gave him something to you know plug in there like because all the other cobra figures and joes have backpacks and then he does have holes at the bottom of his feet for stands and then so that's the figure himself looks great let's go ahead and move into articulation starting at the head looking all the way up really good really good range of motion looking all the way down we're dealing with a double neck joint which the neck removes from the body and then the head removes from the neck and then we do have butterfly joints not much range of motion going on shoulders all the way let's see here all the way up like that 360 bicep cut pinless art pinless double articulation at the elbows and then we have a nice ab crunch going on even with the the silver metallic suspenders all the way back articulation is really good so far on this figure as he's not wearing any top armor and then uh, we do have waist rotation but he cannot go all the way around due to the the metallic suspenders then we're going to have our drop down joints or, I don't know, wait a second. It's supposed to have a drop down joint, hip drop down joint, like every other Joe figure in the classified line. Okay, a little bit, a little bit, okay, there we go. So, kicking all the way forward, all the way back, splits. We have our thigh cut. Ooh, he's a, there we go. We do have thigh cut and then pinless double articulation at the knee. There we go. And then we do have a boot cut. And then ankle all the way down. Ankle pointing all the way up. And the rocker swivel. Just like every other Joe figure. That is articulation of Dr. Mindbender. Alright, so I did find the porthole just now on the side of his belt where you can plug in the canister so it might be hard to see for you guys but it's right here just um, to the left of the left metallic suspender so let's go ahead and try and port that in here uh, maybe like this there you go so that way it, this hose nozzle is pointing out to the side so you could either so yeah so then it'll the hose will run like behind his cloak cape or whatever so like that, and then you can have him hold the gun, or maybe even facing it forward like this, and then have him holding the gun in either hand. All right, so here he is outfitted with his hand pistol holstered by his side, and he's holding the small capsule gun, and he has the container at his side on the belt, and then with one of the hosed weapon accessories, All right, so now time for some scale comparison with other G.I. Joe classified series figures. Here is Dr. Mindbender with Crocmaster and Tom Cruise, or I mean one of the twins. And here he is with color changing Zartan and the Cobra Viper leader from the three pack. And now with the male and female blue ninjas. And now with the Joes, we have Snake Eyes and Sergeant Slaughter. And then here's Dr. Mindbender with Spirit Iron Knife and Stalker. And here he is with some Valiverse action figure figures. And there you have it, folks. The Hasbro Pulse exclusive Dr. Mindbender Deluxe action figure and accessories for $42. Now, who knows if Hasbro Pulse might have him for sale again in the future, but it's pretty much an exclusive and they only uh, you were only able to pre-order it this past summer and then they shipped out uh, within the last month to everyone. But yeah, Dr. Mindbender is definitely a Cobra figure to have. So hopefully you guys were able to snag one up. 
All the accessories look great with him. The only gripe and only outstanding discrepancy is that shoulder pain going on. But yeah, the only discrepancy I see is everyone is having the same issue upon opening up their Dr. Mindbender. Possibly, quite probably, from the metallic suspenders he's got going on. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think and if you picked up a Dr. Mindbender as well. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future videos like this. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.